What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the One You Podcast. So, if you're watching this on YouTube, you might see that I'm a little bit tired, but I'm showing up here anyways. Um, I just wanted to do like give you an update. Four and a half weeks post show post Ben Weeder Natural. Um, it's been some interesting weeks for sure. It's been challenging and it's been like it has had its share of ups and downs for sure. I would like there's a few like reasons to that, I would say. First of all, it is the fact that I'm like I do have an off season now and I have been in season and in prep for so long. So it's hard when you get off because you're like you have such a strict plan at first and then this competition is over. And there's like nothing really that you work. You, I am working towards something, but it's like far out in comparison with like having a show that is like three or four weeks out, which I had like all summer. So it's weird going from that and being kind of strict and like having like a good routine and like counting my macros and eating pretty much the same food, which seems kind of boring at times, but it also makes it way easier and simpler for me at least. But then like going over to like having more of a like long-term goal which is building more muscle mass and making sure that I actually like work towards the physique that um the bikini girls has like I want to I want to work towards like the physiques that uh, the pro bikini girls has because in order to win my pro card at like MPC level I need to be like somewhere towards like where the pros are and I know I'm capable of it, but I do need to put in the work and I do need to like make sure that I still see that why, even though I'm like a little bit more like far out than I was before. And what my coach and I decided on is that I'm probably going to like take a good year off and do the same show again next year. So the Ben Weeder Natural in November 2022. So that's going to give me a good like break and I'll get to like gain back some of my weight, um, preferably mostly in muscle mass, of course, but I do also need to put on some body fat because as a woman, it's not good for us to stay low body fat percentage for too long because that's going to mess up our hormones and stuff. And if I someday want to have kids, I need to make sure that I'm healthy. So uh, those are, that's like one main thing that like my goal is way further out than before. And that's before I had like so many like shows back to back. And it was like so exciting to all the time, like work towards the show. So I could like easily stick to the plan. Now it's like, well, <laughs> you know, I'm more, I, even though I follow a flexible dieting approach which means that I can like decide on what macros to have in a day and I still knew that I felt better if I didn't like go off crazy and like have like cookies and ice cream and stuff um because I do know that eating more whole foods will keep me full for longer and will make me feel better but now when I'm like more far out I'm like well maybe I do want like some of that ice cream and um, maybe I do want some of that like saffron bun you know like all those like delicious treats there are out there I am not a superhuman I promise you guys so I do crave those things as well what makes it different for me is that I know that I have this goal and I do want to work towards it so the more consistent I can stay and stick to my plan the faster I'll get towards like I'll I'll get to the result if I do get off the plan too much like I'm not saying that I can't get off the plan at all I I am gonna get off the plan because like we all need it because if you try to avoid like what you're craving for too long you are going to go crazy after a while and you're going to binge so badly. So it is important to also listen to your body, but also like make sure that you stay um, on track 80% of the time and then 20% of the time you can 
you can go off track. That's something I usually like tell myself that I do want to try to stay as strict as possible during the week, Monday to Friday. And then like Friday night, I might have something like outside of the plan, but I might still like make sure that it's like portion controlled and that I don't go crazy. And then Saturday and Sunday as well, I can be a little bit more flexible with my plan, but make sure that I get the water in, the protein in, and that I move my body. Because if I do those three things and I don't go too crazy with foods, I am going to be fine. And you are as well, I promise you. Important to find like a good balance that you feel works for you and that you can stick to. So that's what I think I'm trying to figure out right now, because I do know how to do it. And I do know what I should do, but I've also been really strict for like such a long time. So I'm giving myself and my body a little bit of a break. And some days have been more, have been worse than others for sure. When I, I think I already mentioned this, but when I got back from the show, I had ordered two yar- two jars of peanut butter, or one was actually almond butter and the other one was peanut butter. Luckily... They are from first form, so they actually have like good um, macros. They are not only fat, they're actually more protein in there as well. And they're not as big as the ones as you get at like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's or something like that in a regular store. But they were still like eight servings of like 200 calories each. So what I did was like, okay, I'm just going to have like one serving. I opened the one, which was like an almond butter with cinnamon flavor. And I took a spoon of it and I was like, oh my God, this is so good. So <laughs> kept eating until I finished half of it, I think. And I was like, oh my God, now I'm like about to throw up. This is so bad. And <laughs> this sounds so bad. But I just want to share that I'm actually human and I do these things. And if you're out there and you have done it as well, you are not alone. The other one was peanut butter with banana flavor. And I was like, okay, I'm just going to have a like small, small piece of it. And like, I just want to taste it, which was a mistake because I ate half of that. So in total, I kind of ate like one entire jar of peanut butter. But well, my body probably needed it and some extra fats after like being pretty low on fat for a long time. Pretty, it was probably not the best choice for sure, but I'm not feeling bad about it either. And the day after, which was a Sunday, I ate the rest of both of the jars. So I ate one jar Saturday and one jar Sunday. That's fine. (laughs) I used it as fuel for my workouts when I was back in the gym on Monday. So that was a little story post show. And like after that, like that entire week, I was just craving things all the time. But I also think that was actually a mix of two things. So first of all, I was craving because I knew that I could eat things that I had not eaten in so long. So I just wanted to go to these different places. I want to go to everyone and eat. I wanted to have like Halo Top ice cream, which I love. I wanted to have, like, there were so many things that I wanted to eat that I had not had in so long. So I just had a hard time choosing. Um, but I tried to make sure that I chose, like, I picked one thing each day so I didn't go too overboard or crazy. Um, I probably ate more than what my reverse diet allowed me. But same thing there. I made sure to enjoy it. I made sure to use it, like think about it as fuel for my workouts. And I do have an off season. I just don't want to like gain back the weight too quickly because if I do, I know it's mainly going to be fat. I do want to gain both fat and muscle mass. So that's why I'm trying to stay on top of my uh, reverse or recovery diet. I have been listening a little bit more to like that recovery diet. So I am going to try to discover that a little bit more because I find it really interesting and a great approach and once I learn more about it I am going to share more right now I haven't learned as much I know that instead of like reverse dieting where you add in a little bit each week they actually bump you up until you like to to your maintenance calories so you can um, like gain the weight back quicker and so I am going to explore that a little bit more and see if I will use that approach next time I find it interesting to try different things and see whatever works best for me 
um, and my body and my my mental health as well. I'm like, I'm getting better and better for sure. Like the weeks have been like, I've been trying to like stay on track, but I've also allowed myself some more flexibility than before, which is well needed. And I do notice that the days when I actually stick to the plan and I eat my like my meals, like four, usually like four meals and maybe like a post-workout meal, um, I usually stick between four and five meals each day and make sure that I have at least four protein rich meals with like 30 grams of protein because protein is so important not only for your muscle mass it's also so important for your hair your skin your nails your organs and for your body to just function uh, its best so I'm always making sure that I stay on top of my protein intake first and foremost and another good thing with protein is that it keeps you full longer so you will not have as much cravings because if you eat more carb rich meals all the time, you will crave more carbs actually because it doesn't fill you up as much. And even more if it's processed carbs, like whole food carbs will fill you up more. But um, so so I feel like as long as I like stay on top of like having like whole food meals and real meals instead of like sometimes I do like I like to do protein pudding. That's my favorite, but it's not good. Or I mean, it's, it is good, but it's like, I can't really stop myself when I do it. So I eat more than I, like, I eat more servings than one, even though I'm like, I should only have one, but I end up eating three. But that's been happening now. And it's probably because my body is still like adjusting and getting back to like, more of like a normal off season feeling. So it will get better. I know that. It's just like I I I'm feeling it out from day to day. I'm trying to allow myself to feel all the feelings and not be too hard on myself and just enjoy life and enjoy like meeting up with friends, going out for dinners at times, but not go out for dinners every day. So I do try to like limit like dinners with friends or like lunches with friends out to three times a week at the moment because I'm so far out and um, it is a good time to actually and I'm also in Sweden so I do want to meet and make sure that I meet up with my friends here and um, and like go, when you go out for d- lunches and dinners it doesn't necessarily need to be a bit bad thing you can actually adjust like meals to to fit your plan pretty well just you just need to make sure that you are conscious about the choices you make when you're out you can actually for example ask them to fry things in a little bit less oil because if you don't they usually just drench things in oil depending on where you go of course you can also ask for the dressing on the side because then you can decide how much dressing you put on instead of them like pouring a lot of dressing on your salad or your food or even like the sauce as well on the side so those are like some tips and tricks that I use when I go out eat um if I want to make sure that I stay a little bit on track yeah my main like thing that I am gonna use right now is that I am gonna stay strict during the weeks and give myself more flexibility during the weekends. That's really like my main plan going forward, which will help me to be like a little bit more flexible and enjoy like time with like family and friends, but also make sure that I work towards my goal. Because in the end of the day, it is so important to actually have that goal in mind and know what it is and know your why. Because that will make it easier for you to stick to the plan that you've set up. I know myself that I think I found it a little bit challenging and hard right after the show. Because I kind of like, I didn't lose my why. But like, still it was like, as I said, it was like so far out. So it felt like after the show, it was so empty. Because I was not working towards something that was like close in time. And there's so many people like talking about this, how you lose like one, like when you're done, like stepping off stage, it is this kind of like empty feeling, which is 
<laughs> maybe weird, but it's like you've been working so hard for so long. You go up on stage and it's such a like adrenaline kick and you kind of like get this like like high from just being on stage and having like the spotlight on you and then you walk off and it's done and it's over and you're just like oh it's just like empty and a weird feeling even though it's amazing uh what you just like did and accomplished so I'm trying to be more proud of myself and enjoy those moments and like celebrate the wins because it is so important to to actually like celebrate the wins like have have a goal and when you get there really celebrate that and like it doesn't only need to be like the end goal because the thing is for me there's not really an end goal it's more about like the journey and the process and that is important to set like set up like part goals along the way and that's something that I'm going to sit down and do because now it's like so far out it's not until November so I need to make sure that I have these like smaller goals throughout the year so that's something that I will sit down and do before the beginning of the d- the year beginning of 2022 because I feel like that will really help me to stay on track and stay motivated and stay excited so I'm actually excited about that so this was like not <laughs> um this was a lot about like how all like all the feelings I've had post show and that I'm not perfect I am human I also mess up and the most important part is to not mess up or not mess up but you know not go off plan for too long because the longer you're off plan the more like you'll set yourself kind of back if that makes sense and because if it's if it's only for a shorter period of time and you get back on track you'll not like not much progress will be lost so don't be too hard on yourself give yourself a break if you feel like you need it but don't make that break too long that's what I should uh, would say um and if you have any questions you can always 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 reach out to me I'm more than happy to help and give you advice and help in any way that I can so you can always dm me at my instagram I am Josephine Holmberg or if you want to email me at josephineholmberg1 at gmail.com, you're more than welcome to do so as well. I love to help people and um, I love to share like my journey and what I do and all that. So I'm so happy you listened all the way through. And if you learned something, please share that with me. And if you feel like this was helpful and if you want me to share more episodes like this, because I love to share, I love to help, so just give me some feedback on if you like this, and I will make sure to share even more. Have an amazing day!